Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about rhinoplasty. Do you have a problem with the curve of your nose? A deviation or distortion in your nose? And wish to have a more beautiful and elegant face? You will require a surgery known as rhinoplasty, referred to as nose job or nose reshaping. Rhinoplasty enhances facial harmony and the proportions of your nose. Of course, you have a lot of questions regarding this procedure for changing the form of the nose and beautifying it. But don't worry. After watching this video, you'll be able to learn everything about rhinoplasty, including how is it conducted and if you are a suitable candidate for this procedure or not, as well as the operations result and any problem. Our role today is to answer most of our questions regarding rhinoplasty. Today we have Dr. Saw, who is a leading doctor at JW Plastic Surgery. He is going to discuss with us everything about rhinoplasty from an experienced medical point of view. Hi, I'm Queenie, and before we start, please subscribe to our channel so the next time you'll be updated with our new releases. Um, hello, Dr. So, how are you? Yeah, great, thank you. How are you? Uh, so, can you introduce yourself to our audience? I am Dr. So, a plastic surgeon. I've been specializing in rhinoplasty for more than 20 years and currently serving as a representative of JW Plastic Surgery. Okay, so um, I will go straight to the questions about rhinoplasty. Um, what are the main rhinoplasty in Korea, actually? Nose plastic surgery, which is usually done in Korea, is a fusion surgery. It is a surgery that raises the low nose and extends the length of the low nose or short nose. Since Korean plastic surgery technology is known around the world, there are many foreign patients, and Westerner nose surgery is also being carried out in Korea. Okay, so is it really different while um, performing rhinoplasty on Asian and Western um, patients? Most Asian rhinoplastic surgery involves surgery to raise the length of a small nose and make the short nose longer. But Western rhinoplastic surgery often involves axial surgery to reduce the size of the nose. Anatomically, Asians' noses have small and fragile cartilage at the tip of their noses, while Westerners' noses are large and hard. Westerners' nose skin is thin, but Asians' nose skin is thick. Therefore, it is important to understand this characteristic and perform surgery. So are there any risk of having rhinoplasty? The question that many customers are most curious about is about the side effects. After nose surgery, the frequency of general side effects is about 3 to 5 percent. There are mainly inflammation, implants, cartilage reflection, or nose twisting. In fact, the surgery is performed very delicately and naturally without overdoing it. And in this case, it is less than 1% of the side effects. So you don't have to worry too much. Okay, so uh, can you tell us about the trends in rhinoplasty these days? The trend of rhinoplasty is different from the past. In the past, they preferred high and distinct noses like Westerners' noses. But recently, they prefer natural and harmonious noses. Asians' noses prefer beauty suitable for Asians, and Westerners prefer beauty suitable for Westerners. Both prefer a natural nose that doesn't show that they had surgery. So, uh, what are the causes that patients will decide to have um, revision rhinoplasty? There are two main categories of rhinoplasty, reoperation. One is surgery to modify the shape, and the second is surgery due to side effects. Most surgeries are performed for the first reason, and reoperation due to side effects is very rare. I want to raise my nose more, or I want to resize my nose, are 70 to 80 percent of resurgery reasons, or reoperation, and 20 to 30 percent of resurgery due to inflammation are happening. Uh, how does an incision scar look like after having rhinoplasty? Patients worry a lot about scars after nose surgery. During nose surgery, there is an incision that goes inside the nose, and there is an open incision that incisions around the nose. Surgery inside the nose does not result in a scar. 
Open incision can cause scars to be visible for the first two to three months. However, you can't see it from the front, but you can see it when you look up. When you see a scar for the first two to three months, you can cover it with makeup, and you can't see a scar after three months. Uh, so, Dr. So, I know you have been in industry for over 20 years. Uh, so, can you tell us more about the most challenging rhinoplasty-related uh, cases that you have got so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No surgery has easy cases and difficult cases. Reoperation is more difficult than the first surgery. It may vary from doctor to doctor, but personally, the most difficult nose to operate is a resurgery of the nose with a crooked nose and a raised tip. The second difficult surgery is to resurgery the collapsed nose. The third is when the nose was bent for congenital or acquired reasons. And the surgery was performed due to this, but the results were not good, so reoperation was required. However, even with high level surgery, Experienced and technical doctors can get good results. Therefore, even those with these noses can look forward to it hopefully. Um, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much, Dr. So. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. So today we learned many things about rhinoplasty, and the doctor explained in details everything related to this cosmetic procedure, such as how can be done and the best candidate for it. Thank you for joining us once again today at Klaus TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We will respond to you as soon as possible.